myself an isolator, which this one's a little bit cheaper. I think it's only like 17 bucks on Amazon. Link will be in the description below. So I have one battery on my car, and when it's fully charged, I want it to go to this, and then when this thing knows that that battery's charged, it automatically kicks on and charges my other battery. Then when you shut the car off, uh, it disconnects between these two batteries until your alternator kicks on again, which then it starts charging this again. And if you're powering off of here for subwoofers, gaming, whatever you want to do, this stops it from sucking from your main car battery. And then this will go dead and this will be fine. As long as you have all your accessories on the battery side, accessory battery side. So I've already had one of these, but I bought an expensive brand. A uh, Dr. Battery or something like that. And um, it's worked really good. Well, now I'm needing a second one because I'm running a really weird setup in my vehicle. So uh, I needed this. Again, the link will be in the description below. They kind of show you this on the Amazon link that is in the description below. <laughs> if you guys want to look at that, screenshot it. Pause it, screenshot it, and then look at the screenshots. If you guys want to read it in Japanese or whatever, fair game. So to me, it almost looks like a shutoff valve, shutoff switch. Oh, I didn't know that was open. So they give you some terminals that you'll have to crunch yourself. They are not screwing. Give you all kinds of screws, which that screw looks like it goes down in there. Plenty sticking out there. That's pretty nice. They don't have to give all that. Another one of them terminals. Crimp terminal. Got some covers, I'm sure, for in there. Or some covers. Some battery nuts. Not wing nuts, don't need them. And then looks like these are color coded. This is heat shrink, not fire shrink. I always put fire on it and shrink them. All you need is a little bit of heat from the fire, from your smoke, or from your smoke, from your lighter. So on the outside, it's 140 amp. I quite, I didn't need one that big. I only need like 30 amp, but this is as low as they go for the price too. Looks like there's an uh, indicator right there that's kind of just cut in there. Only two uh, mounting holes. Keep that in mind. Super light, liking that. So we got black and yellow. So one of these is the... That's positive and positive. And then these screw on there to keep your terminals on there. Looks like there's then breakouts. Two breakouts per side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Two breakouts per side. So you can run the wires out. Again, this is going to have from your battery. And then these do not connect unless the battery is being charged on your car. And then it goes to the accessory battery. Now one of these is most likely the ground wire. And then the other one is called a black wire. Wherever the heck that goes. I'll have to look into this a little bit. It's not quite saying which is which. So I'm going to have to look at the instructions. Override wire. Oh. I don't know where you run the override wire. My other one, which is a doctor, you just hit a button to override it. I'm not going to need to override. Run the override. It doesn't even show you where the override wire goes. <laughs> so the black wire is your ground. Feels pretty sturdy. I'm pretty sure the black is the ground. I would assume. I don't. It doesn't even show it on there. Does it show it in Japanese? Nope. I guess that would be it. Comes out, goes to the house battery, and then it is. You link the two batteries together. Okay. So there you go. That's how it comes. And then this goes right over it. So you have to run these wires with your wires through there. It's not quite waterproof unless you silicone all this up once you're done. One's going to be mounted indoors so I don't have to worry about it as much. Thanks for watching.